Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. Currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading the downside. Dow's off 50 points, about uh, two-tenths of a cent. Three-tenths for the S&P, or 14 points. Two-tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 27 points. Uh, Three-quarters of a percent for the Russell, that's 15 points of downside. About nine-tenths for the semis, that's 26 points of downside there. If you get gold trading off 21 bucks, that's a little over 1%. Two and a half percent for silver, that's 51 cents. She's trading out at 2018. Light Sweet Crew back 372. 88.40 is the uh, print there. Natural gas off 18 cents, 858 is the print. And the 30-year uh, treasury is up one point. 141.19. So let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart as soon as we can find it. Here in the upper left hand corner, what do we know? So we do know that the ES mini has gotten up to resistance. That happens to be the top of its weekly profile, 42.77. So hence the struggle. Could this be the place where price would turn around? It could. If we were going to see that, we would get some type of bearish reversal candle that confirms the sell the D point pattern. We don't have that as we speak right now. You have the spot volatility exit still below its 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 2433, as long as price remains below that. Now we do have a slightly rising spot volatility, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But uh, with it below the 50 day exponential moving average, the wind is at the sale of the uh, winds at the back of the sales for the S&P 500. The NQ trade about both the top of its daily and weekly profile. It's in full out bullish motion out here. Um, bullish motion, it is uh, It is absolutely bullish as we speak. If you take a look at the US dollar index, just consolidated with inside its daily profile, that's between the range of 105.20 and 106.58. Gold right now is trading below the center of its bearish structured daily profile. And that level is 18028. Uh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. 180. We're trading right now at 1795. If price closes below 180, then what that suggests is we should see a move down to test support, which would be the bottom of that daily profile at 1775. You have the same setup inside of silver. It too has a bearish structure daily profile, and this suggests that a close below. 2042 today should see a move down to support. That's at 1974. Light sweep crude so far still maintains its Gartley buy pattern, and it will do that as long as price remains above, I should say closes above, 88.23. Natural gas pulling back, but above the top of its daily profile, so that looks pretty bullish. Looks like it should go target that most recent high from back in July. And we can take a look at the 30-year uh, treasury back inside its daily profile. A close today above 140.31 suggest a move up to the 143.06 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show, but if you're off to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.